What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Hopefully, your guys' weekend's been going good out there so far. Wanted to share this. Um, I usually catch this as it gets published. But a lot of times, Bowman Chrome multipliers for the type of parallel that's out there, people always ask this question out there. So, this is something done by Filmington. It's pretty good, actually. It's been going on for years. Um, he excludes some stuff, which is at the bottom. This was, I think, on Instagram or Twitter or something I caught it on. Might have been somebody posted in a Facebook group and said, Hey, look here. And I got tagged. I can't remember. Been a couple days, but I want to get this out. So this is just the first, you know, auto multipliers. So your typical range is what you're seeing for deviation. So if a base of uh, so-and-so's Bowman Chrome first auto is selling for $10, the refractor would be anywhere from 13 to 21. And it goes the whole way down, which is really cool on to it all, because, I mean, a super fractor, you know, t base is $10, 500 to 3000 it, it all depends on players. As you get into the less and less numbers, that's why you have the bigger variation onto it. By no means is he saying this is the end-all, be-all chart onto it, but it gives you a good idea across the board what, you know, the, it's been going. A lot of data goes into this. The normalized mean is what most people just go off of with their multipliers, so um, not bad, not bad. So if you guys want to, like, you know, bookmark this video or take this down and screenshot it so you have it, there you go. I wish I could add a file onto a YouTube video for you guys just to be able to download it, but can't do that at all. But this here... Um, if you're into Bowman First Autos, this would help out, especially if you're a newer collector out there. Just wanted to share this, uh, just in case you need it down the road for something like this. A lot of times you, when you stare at this, a lot of the, the color does mean to, because there's a lot of people that are high on blues versus greens, and if you look like the blue and the black... Pretty dead even for the normalized mean, but when you look over at the typical range, they're really, really close. Uh, it's just really strange, even though the serial numbers are different. Again, you got every color of the unicorn out there, plus the waves and shimmers. He did not put lava refractors, the black and white diamonds, the mega box autos, printing plates, and various others out there. Black mojo wave and all that stuff. Uh, but this gives you a good, good idea. Uh, if you're looking because you find some like green, oh, green shimmers on or speckle or whatever. But if you find something out there like the black wave or something auto out there, just for example. Just look at something like the gold and the gold shimmer or another color like green and green shimmer out there. And it'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea of the difference that those go for off. And usually they're about half the price of the uh solid i should just go with because if you look like oh that's bad well if you look at like red versus red wave you go the high end on to it's 60 to 30 half uh was gold 10 gold shimmer 5.3 so about 50 percent difference it all depends on player too Ooh, green, green. Where's solid green? Oh, green is a three where a green shimmer 2.2. Not necessarily, but I mean, it, it just gives you a better idea on some of that stuff out there. But all right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the weekend. Catch you guys next video.